Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have determined that we have parallel lines. We have two arrows on these parallel lines. So now we have parallel lines, which is very cool, because now when we look at our angle relationships, we know certain things are now going to be true. Um, and first of all, we need to determine, though, how are these angles related, right? We have this angle that we have a question mark in because we don't know the value of it. And then we have another angle that's 110. But forget about the numbers for a second. How are those two angles related to each other? Yes? Yeah, they're alternate exterior. They're both exterior of your parallel lines. You guys see how here's the parallel lines. They're on the outside of the parallel lines. So they're what we call exterior. They're alternating on different sides of the transversal. So they are alternate exterior. And Oscar, do you remember how alternate exterior angles relate to each other when you have parallel lines? They're either equal to, they're equal to each other, add up to 180, add up to 90. They're equal to each other, right? So yeah, exactly. So you can say the question mark is equal to 110 degrees. So therefore, obviously, this angle is equal to 110 degrees. All right? And just make sure when you guys are doing these problems, you write alternate exterior angles. All right? Is there one more problem anybody like me to do off of that second page?